Hey folks, Jim Dufault here with IO Systems in Indianapolis. So pleased to present to you our brand new line of zoning control panels. It's the IO Systems Zone ESP control panels. So, well, what is ESP? Well, it stands for Electronic Static Pressure Control. So what does that mean for you? Well, in a nutshell, just like it says behind me, no bypass zoning. What this means for you is you're never going to have to install a bypass damper ever again when you're doing zoning when you use our, the IO system zone ESP technology. Listen, this is award-winning technology that we have embedded into our, into our traditional two zone, three zone, and six zone panels. That means you're never going to have to install a bypass system ever again. So, I mean, when you look at a bypass system like this, this is what we're talking about. I mean, you're having to buy and install a bypass damper. Now, that's whether it's a barometric, horizontal, or vertical bypass damper, whether it's an electronic a bypass damper or one of the new smart bypass damper, whatever the case may be, you're never going to have to install that again. You're never going to have to worry about installing all of that duct work. And listen, let's face it, you may run into a situation when you're doing a zoning job where you may not even have, it not, may not even have room to install a bypass system. So with our new zone control panels, you're never going to have to do that. So, but listen, we, we still make our traditional two zones and three zones and six zone control panels, just like you've always bought. But now we've, uh, we've got a line of zone control panels with our award-winning ESP technology so that you don't have to install a bypass damper. So how does it work? Well, in a traditional system, obviously, you've got your thermostat for each zone. You're going to have your zone control panel, and then you're going to have dampers. Now, with our new zone control panel, you're going to need three wire dampers, just like our MD series dampers right here with Belimo actuators, the best in the industry with a 60 second actuator. So you're going to need three wire dampers because we need to be able to power open and power close the dampers and the functionality of the electronic static pressure control zone panel itself. And then what the additional item that you're going to have aside from having to install a bypass is our static pressure control sensor. So how does this work and what does it mean for you? So normally, you'll set up your thermostats in the zones that you need. You're going to have your zone control panel and your three wire dampers are installed. But then you're going to install the, the static pressure control sensor that's going to come in the box. So not only does the static pressure control panel come in the box or the zone control panel, it's also uh, going to come with the static pressure control sensor as well. Now, what this does is you're going to insert this end into the ductwork. Uh, into the supply side through the through the, uh, the outside wall of the ductwork itself about four to six feet or so uh, downstream on the supply side but before you get to any of the dampers in your zoning system and what this does is it, it constantly monitors static pressure in a zoning system and so as, as dampers open and close static pressure rises and falls this goes ahead and monitors that now under the cover we have a little dial. Now this is where we put the control into the contractor's hands because we don't know exactly how big the, the zones are that you're working with, how big the dampers or the, the, the ductwork itself, how big the structure is. So we set this from the factory at 0.35 inches of water column worth of static pressure. In our tests, we have found that that's typically when a system begins to get noisy. Now you, as the contractor, you can adjust this if you want a little more or a little less static pressure on that set point to activate the dampers. So how does it work? Well, let me take you through the process. So let's say you've got three zones set up. So you've got your three thermostats, your zone control panel, and your dampers. All three zones are satisfied. All the thermostats are at set point. Everybody's happy. The fan is running and air is circulating through the structure. So zone one goes ahead and calls. So what happens? The zone one damper remains open because that's where we want the air to go. But zones two and three, those dampers go ahead and close. Now this is when we begin to get static pressure rising within the system. If the static pressure in the, in the ductwork gets to, at, or above the set point that's on the static pressure control sensor, it's going to go ahead and send a signal. The zone control ESP panel is going to go ahead and send the signal to the three wire dampers to go ahead and begin to open up. And they'll open up to just enough to go ahead to release the static pressure that's in the system, and they'll stop right there. And then every 50 seconds, the, uh, the zone ESP panel takes a look at the, pre uh, at the static pressure within the system itself and then goes ahead and makes adjustments. And this does it automatically, autonomously. There's nothing that the homeowner or the contractor needs to do after these are all set up. It's just going to go ahead and monitor that and it's just going to continue to do that as dampers open and close, as zones begin to call and get satisfied. Now, let me just say this. So, obviously, we are, we, are, we are taking care of static pressure at the zone, so we're going to be bleeding a little bit of air into those non-calling zones. Now, look, 
This is not going to be enough air to cause overheating or overcooling in any way. We're talking about just a little bit of static pressure that's being bled into those zones. In fact, a non-calling zone is a zone that's in the process of calling. So if anything, all we're doing is, is we're helping to postpone that zone from calling a little bit down the road. So it's an efficient use of air and it's an efficient use of the system. That, in a nutshell, is how the system works. Now, again, we still are, are making our traditional zoning panels, our, our traditional two zone, three zone, and six zone that you're gonna need a bypass system with. But now, we give you the option to go ahead and get a zoning panel, whether it's a two zone, a three zone, or like our six zone here. And of course, this too is expandable up to nine zones, and then again, up to 12 zones. So if you have a very large zoning project, this will take care of it as well. So we just, we wanted to put that into your hands. So the, the IO systems, zone ESP, uh, zoning system, no bypass required. So now I'd like, what I'd like to do is kind of just take you through a, a few of the features and the benefits of the, uh, the panel itself, and also give you a little top-down view that I've got set up over here on my right, your left, to kind of show you just how simple this system is. Listen, folks, this is as easy as zoning can possibly get to set up never having to install a bypass, and I'll show you how simplistic the board is. Now, when it comes to the to the two and the three zone, which is what I'm just gonna talk about here with you. So, this is just kind of a quick overlay, but we're talking about, you know, up to three zones, multi-stage, uh, whether it's heating or cooling, if you've got a, a heat pump type system, whether it's a dual fuel, we've got you covered there. And even with our, our new six zone uh, ESP panel, we've even got a four heat, two cool uh, availability to you as well. Auto changeover, first call priority, a, 20 minute timeshare, there's high and low limit protect protection itself, fully adjustable high and low balance points, which you can see these little white potentiometers on this because this is a heat pump board. So you've got high and, low, uh, high and low balance points that you can adjust on that as well. It's compatible with virtually all thermostats. So that's what's great about IO systems and our zoning control panels. They're compatible with virtually every thermostat on the market. And of course, underneath, like with all IO products, again, you get a full set of instructions in paper form, but we also put them on the inside of the, the control panel as well for you. Uh, works with two or three wire dampers. I'll explain a little bit about that in a moment. The ESP pressure control uh, works with our three wire, our MD series dampers. And then short cycle protection, 60 second purge option. So just to kind of give you a very brief rundown of, of the three zone panel itself. And of course, many of those features, again, you're gonna find those also on the six zone panel also. But if you got a moment, I wanna take you, give you a little top down view of the zone control panel itself, if you'll bear with me, and just show you how easy this is and show you where everything is at. So if you don't mind, take a look with me here real quick. So what we've got is obviously at the top, this is where your transformer is going to wire in. So this is going to be a, about a 40 VA transformer and that'll work just fine for this panel. Now look how simple this is. You've got zone one thermostat and damper, zone two thermostat and damper, and then zone three thermostat and damper. Everything is all right there for you, easy to wire up. And of course you'll notice down here we have power close, common and power open. Now of course you can use these panels as a traditional zone panel if you would like. If you do not wire the static pressure control panel into the, into the static pressure control sensor rather into the zone control panel, the zone control panel will not function as an ESP or electronic static pressure control panel. It'll operate just as a regular zoning panel. So you can use two wire dampers with this zone control panel without any problems whatsoever. So again, power close, common and power open, very, very simple. And you'll just repeat the process down here for the thermostat and dampers. And on the, the, the far side over here, this is where your equipment is going to wire in. And then your static pressure control sensor, the two wires here your discharge air sensor, and then your outside temperature sensor, because again, this is a heat pump uh, compatible panel for, for heat pump dual fuel. So you'll have to uh, wire in your outside, temp uh, your outside temperature sensor there. Always wire in a discharge air sensor. And of these two large potentiometers here, this is where you're allowed to go ahead in and dial in your high and low balance points. And then up here, this little blue box. Now these are, uh, again, just little switches that are going to allow you to, to set your high limit uh, on the, the system itself. And then the low limit is actually already in the microprocessors inside the, inside the panel itself. We set that at 45 degrees. So if the air temperature gets to 45 degrees, it's gonna go ahead and shut the, the AC off and it's gonna circulate the fan. And of course, uh, on the high end, if the, the furnace is running, we're gonna shut the furnace down and run the fan to either cool things down or warm things up. Either way, uh, you wanna use our panel to trip the limits on your, uh, on your system rather than the, the actual equipment limits being tripped. Now, finally, 
I want to show you these, these little jumpers that are right here on each zone. You have the ability, if you'd like, to turn on and off the ESP functionality per zone. Now, they're going to come in the on position because we're under the assumption that you're installing a, a zoning system and you're not wanting to install a bypass. But let's just say, uh, for instance, you have a zone that you don't want to bypass air into that particular room or area for whatever reason, you can shut that function off. You just pull that jumper off on the top and then slide it down to the two bottom pegs and you're all set. It shuts that, that functionality of the ESP off at that particular zone. So this is great if you've got state or local codes or whatever the case may be. If you have, a, you know, if you have to put air into one specific area versus another, this allows you to do that so you can have maybe one zone you only want to have designated to go ahead and, and, and bring that bypass air into that, that one area. You're able to do that with this. So uh, a tremendous board very thoughtful in its design, easy to install, and again, above all things, not having to install a bypass system ever again, that's, that's just key to the entire functionality of this entire setup. So that's pretty much it. The IO Systems Zone ESP, Zone Control Panels with award-winning integrated ESP technology so that you never have to install a bypass system ever again. So if you'd like more information about IO systems, our zoning control systems, our dampers, or any of our specialty controls, by all means, feel free to reach out to us anytime. You can find us online at www.iohvacsystems.com, or you can call us anytime at 888-359-0362. I'm Jim Dufault for IO Systems. Thanks for watching.